Hey everyone, this is Q Storm once again, and today I am going on a trip to New York. I have a client that I'm going to be shooting for in New York today, and I figured I'd bring you guys along. Uh, we had a good time on the last trip out to Long Island, so uh, let's go into the Big Apple today. The first thing I'm going to do is navigate away from my blog site, which is qstorm.com forward slash lightning strikes. And I'm going to chart out my course for today using Google Maps. Now I'm going to be coming up from Philadelphia once again, but uh, I don't want to take you on that long, boring drive. So I have to make a stop in Secaucus. So let's map it from there. I got to go to Home Depot, which is right in Secaucus, New Jersey. And uh, my final destination is 25 West 39th Street. So we'll plug that in. And, uh, yeah, that's the route I want to take right there. So I want to come from here. I want to come down here. We're going to go through Union City. I used to live right down here on Palisade Avenue, closer to Hoboken. Very nice area, uh, mostly populated by Cuban and Dominican residents. So uh, my Spanish got very good. I've kind of lost it all now. But uh, anyway, we're going to go across Union City, and we're going to come down along this huge circle, semicircle, and that's going to take us right into Lincoln Tunnel, which the mouth is right here. So at this point, we're in the tunnel. We're going to go across the Hudson River, and when we come out of the Lincoln Tunnel, it's going to put us in Midtown Manhattan, which is 42nd Street, Broadway, that area. As you can see right here, we got Broadway. We're going to cut across Midtown going to end up at our final destination. Now the thing to know, if you notice here, it's got me going, it's supposed to be going right across and right to my location. It's got me going up, across, back down, and back up. The reason that is is because Manhattan is, is very much a grid. And as a rule of thumb, all of the streets, like 39th Street, 38th Street, 37th Street, 30th, and so forth, all of the streets run across the island from east to west or west to east. The even number streets run one way east. The odd number streets run one way west, and that's in general. There are some streets like 14th Street, uh, I believe 34th Street, uh, 42nd Street, 57th Street. There are two ways, uh, so there's, there's traffic going either direction. But as a rule of thumb, the streets run one way, either east or west, depending on if they're odd or even numbered streets. Same thing goes for the avenues. You see here, 8th Avenue, 9th Avenue, 10th Avenue, Park Avenue. The avenues run north-south or south to north in general. And it's the same principle. The even number avenues run one way north. The odd number avenues run one way south. And again, that's just a rule of thumb, does not apply in every situation. So that's why I'm gonna to have to come all the way up and go east on 40th Street because that runs east, come down Fifth Avenue, Fifth Avenue is an odd number avenue, so it's gonna run south, and then come back west on 39th Street to get to my location. All right, so, okay, I think we've got it all set. Um, it's been a while since I've driven in Manhattan, so this is going to be just as much an experience for me as it is for you. So let's get going. So I got what I needed at Home Depot, and now we're heading for the Lincoln Tunnel. I've sped this footage up because I don't want to submit you to a whole, you know, 45 minutes of getting to my location, which is approximately what it did take to get there. So we're leaving Secaucus, New Jersey, and Secaucus is right outside of Union City. It's in Bergen County. Um, we're going to be heading into Hudson County um, and we're going up right now we're going up the gangplank to um, and we're going to cross under Union City. So now we're kind of traveling in what's known as West New York. The thing about New Jersey is that you have all of these little communities, these little towns that are right on top of each other so you could pass through five different villages or towns in the space of 10 minutes. Driving through this area, it just brings back so many great memories because, as I said, I lived here for like eight years. And I tell you, you know, moving out to the New York area in 97, I learned more about life 
uh, in the time that I moved out here from 97 on to today than I did in any other part of my life. So uh, I really kind of uh, look back on this uh, fondly. Okay, right now we're kind of traveling a little bit below the city level. So um, we have just passed, I believe, passed through, or in the process of passing through Union City right now. So now we've just passed through, that's Union City on the right. Off in the distance there, you can see the Empire State Building. Now we're uh, approaching the Lincoln Tunnel. We're approaching the helix, that large semicircle that I mentioned to you. So as you can see, we're, we're bearing to the right, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but to the left is the impressive skyline of Manhattan. I don't know if you'll see it here, though. You, yeah, well, you get a little sense of it. It's off in the distance there. I'm using a, this camera has a fisheye lens on it, so it's not up close, but but as you can see, we're curving back around to the right once again, finishing off the circle, and in a few seconds, you will see, well, we're gonna go through the easy pass toll, because as I told you before, going through tolls and paying tolls is a part of life in New Jersey. So here we are coming up on the easy pass toll. And because I have easy pass, I don't have to necessarily stop When I first moved here, you had to stop and pull out money and pay someone. Now it's all automated. Now that, traveling through there, cost me anywhere from $11 to $13. I'm not sure. Uh, depends on if it's considered peak time or off time, I'm not sure. But here we are entering the, I suppose, world famous Lincoln Tunnel. Now the Lincoln Tunnel takes us underneath the Hudson River. Of course, the tunnel is named after Abraham Lincoln, and it's one of two tunnels built underneath the Hudson River. The second one is further south of us. It's the Holland Tunnel, which puts you out downtown right on Canal Street. This tunnel was designed by, I believe his name is Ole Singstad. Uh, he was a Norwegian-born civil engineer, and of course, you know I just looked all this up on Wikipedia. I'm not that smart. The construction started in March of 1934 and opened to traffic on December 22, 1937. And at that time, it was 50 cents a car. When I moved here, uh, the toll was $4. That was in 97. Now today, I believe, depending on if you drive through this at peak time or off peak time, it could run as high as $11 with Easy Pass. If you don't have Easy Pass, it's $13. Imagine being a commuter and driving through this tunnel every day paying $13. That's why so few people have cars in this area. If you catch the bus at one of the uh, park and rides, which we did pass through in Secaucus, it costs you, as far as I know, it costs you around $5. So there's a huge difference there. And the bus will drop you off at the Port Authority bus station, which is right outside of the Lincoln Tunnel. All right, so now we're exiting the tunnel. We just came out from underneath the Hudson River and we're in the Big Apple, 